Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video and we have another new arrival. I'm really excited to present to you the 2022 BMW Alpina XB7 in Grigio Telesto. All right, this is the 2022 Alpina XB7 in Grigio Telesto. Take a look at this insane beast. Before I even start talking about it at all, I just want to give you guys a chance to see all the things that make this an Alpina XB7. So right, at the, right off the bat, you can see the bottom. It's emblazoned with Alpina right down there. It looks amazing. Take a look at the side profile here. I've got the air uh, car aired out as low as possible, so that's why I look this awesome right now. And we've got the classic Alpina wheels. Take a look at that paint from all the different angles. The way the light hits it just looks fantastic. This person has been waiting a long time for this vehicle, so I'm really excited to present it to him in this way. And we've got quad exhaust tips, we've got the color match rear diffuser, that looks awesome. We've got the Alpina badging, it says XB7 here, just to make sure everybody knows. If we look over at the roof here, we've got the, the typical two sunroofs that the XB or the all the X7s have, but XB7 just does it so well. Look at how awesome this car looks. All right. Okay, so as I previously stated, this is Grigio Telesto, and take a look at these BMW laser light headlights. We've got this massive kidney grill, one piece, but it just looks so boss on the front of this vehicle. I absolutely love the front end. Now, if we go over here, we have the 23 inch classic multi-spoke Alpina wheel with the Alpina center cap which just looks so good and take a look at that massive blue Alpina brake caliper wow look at that and then we've got the chrome accent that runs all the way the length of the vehicle and when we get to the back let me just get the tail lights on there for you so this Grigio Telesto paint is an individual color. It looks absolutely fantastic. Take a look at those quad exhaust tips down there. Take a look at how, I love how this little cutout, it's got that nice cutting body line there. Color match rear diffuser looks fantastic. We also retain the fact, uh, or the, the feature to use our foot to open and close the hatch. But take a look at those chrome tips. That looks awesome. And again, I just gotta step back for a second. Give you guys a chance to see the car completely aired out. Look at that, it looks fantastic. Now, as I'd mentioned, we can still use our foot to open and close the hatch. So let me just kick underneath here. And because this is the X7, we do have the split tailgate, the upper and lower. So I'm just gonna lift this portion up for one second so you guys can see. We have a button here to lower the car. It is already on the lowest position. And we have the typical buttons up here to close and close and lock the hatch. But I also wanted to show you this because this is unique to the Alpina. So look at this little pouch for the owner's manual. We've got the beautiful Alpina badging. And look at that. The client is gonna be so happy to see this Alpina keychain. And uh, just take a look in there. We've got the classic Alpina colors. That is absolutely awesome. I'm so excited. Now. If you've seen any of my other X7 videos, we know that there's a storage space underneath here. You've got your cargo cover here that covers over the third row when the third row is folded flat. You have your headrest pillows. You've got, um, we've got your, our front plate bracket because I don't think this person's putting it on. We've got a uh, little net here that we can use to store things, carpeted floor mats. And we've also got a little tire inflator kit down here. And underneath, we've got wheel lock keys, a little storage space here, 12 volt plug, and all the buttons here, maximum uh, space for, for passengers. We have maximum storage. This controls the third row. This controls the second row if we'd like to put it up or down. And let me just put this back down and this part flips back over. And look at that, it says X7 right on. It looks awesome. And in the back here, look at that headliner. It's a dark blue Alcantara headliner, which looks fantastic. Up there, 
We do have our rear climate controls that doesn't have a, uh, a climate zone. So this ha actually has five auto climate zones with third row and second row heated seats. And we do have our own little sunroof back here as well, which is absolutely awesome. All right, so inside of here, we have the ivory night blue merino leather. And look at that. Bowers and Wilkins diamond surround sound system. We have blue ambient lighting and take a look at the way the seats look. We do have this uh, seven passenger configuration here. So we do have the bench and we also have rear seat entertainment. There are the climate controls on the back of the center console with vents. We have our uh, disc drive there with two headphone jacks and we have 12 volt plug, two USB type C charging ports, vents underneath the front seats. And I just wanna give you guys a chance to see what it looks like if we uh, move the seat forward so that we can see. Whoop. Once the seat moves forward, I just wanted to give you guys a chance to see the space that's back here. In the third row, we've got some vents up here. That's the port to put the cargo cover that covers the third row. Down here, we have that little spot here that has a little uh, hook and a USB Type-C charging port. So let me just put this back and the seat will go back into the correct position. And then on the doors here, we have the buttons that will control the power sunshades on each side, which is awesome. And this button down here opens and closes the third, uh, the back uh, third row sunroof. And this is to close the sunshade on the front panoramic sunroof. All right, so if we enter from the passenger side, there's another huge Bowers and Wilkins diamond surround sound thing there. Look at that, we have the illuminated Alpina door sills. There's the seats, that looks absolutely fantastic. And this is the Alpina anthracite walnut, tr walnut trim. We've got some Alpina badging here. And look at this, there's iDrive 7, but take a look at that. BMW Alpina XP7 badge right there and take a look at this we've got crafted clarity but it says alpina right on the controller there's our air suspension everything in here just looks absolutely awesome and if you lift that up got our communication pad there's our digital key and heated and cooled cup holders all right let me now enter from the driver's side so over here we have uh, the buttons here that allow the passengers to get to the third row. This is for massage chairs. This is to control the passenger front seat with the driver's seat controls. We've got all of our galvanic controls here. And this is to put up and down the sunshades in the second row. And let's take a look at these beautiful seats and a little bit of a closer look here. Take a look at that. And then there's more Alpina goodness in here. So let me just jump in. So we've got the Alpina theme color dash with a nice blue and take a look at the actual steering wheel. We've got an Alpina badge right on the center of the steering wheel. And I don't know if you can see this well or not, but we've got the Alpina stitching all the way around the leather steering wheel as well, which looks absolutely fantastic. This car is so good. And just wanted to point out up here, this is for the lights and uh, but we have these two buttons here that will open and close the shade in the third row sunroof. Okay, I just wanted to also get a chance to uh, show you what the dash looks like with the vehicle on there. Just to show you that it is pretty well color matched. And also, you can't really see it that well, but the Bowers and Wilkins Diamond Surround Sound uh, does also illuminate with ambient lighting. And also wanted to show you this. Alpina does not have an Eco Pro mode, so if you're looking to save fuel, this is the wrong car. <laughs> All right, so now let's take a look at this beautiful Alpina N63 by Turbo. So this produces 612 horsepower, 590 torque. This is a V8 beast. Just take a look at that with the Alpina badging right on the engine cover. That looks fantastic. I'm a huge fan of this vehicle. This is my first time actually seeing an Alpina in person, so I'm so excited. Probably as excited as you are. And over here, we have our washer fluid. As you know, please do not put rain -X in here. We have our positive battery terminal here, and there's a label here saying that there's a negative battery terminal just over here, which is this post. 
All right, guys, so I can't actually rev the engine or anything like that, but I can do a remote start, so let's try it out. One, two, three on the key, and let's see what happens. All right, everyone, so that was our first time seeing any Alpina vehicle, and we're so lucky that it was the Alpina XB7 in Grigio Telesto. This car is absolutely fantastic. I'm in love. Uh, if you really like this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.